A woman who wants to move to Tulsa is sounding the alarm after she says that she lost more than $1,000 to a rental scam. Sarah Reinhardt says she searched for a home online but says a website she thought was trustworthy connected her with someone who took her money. News on 6's Lex Rodriguez has a warning from her tonight. Lex? Craig and Tatum, Reinhardt says everything seemed legit from the listing to the application process. It wasn't until after she sent money for a deposit that she realized it was a scam. When searching for a home to buy or rent, websites can make finding a new place to live more convenient, especially if you don't live in the city where you are moving. Sarah Reinhardt is moving from Guthrie to Tulsa for her new job and thought she found the perfect place. It was a very thorough application actually. Like we had to have five renter references, um, personal references, like the whole nine yards. Like so I, you know, thought this is legitimate. Reinhardt says she and her roommate sent $150 for an application fee and another $1,000 for the deposit through Venmo to someone who claimed to be Frank Edward. She says Frank asked for another $1,700 for the first month's rent, but something felt off. So she asked for Frank's driver license. When she looked at the photo, she realized it was fake because of this number. We just got scammed. Reinhardt drove to the listed home in Tulsa, where she met the people who own the house. They told her it's not for rent and had no idea their home was listed online. Reinhardt says the homeowners then had the listing removed from the website. You don't assume people are going to scam you. You kind of have the trust that everyone has your, I mean, not your best interest in mind, but that they're not going to take advantage of you. Reinhardt says she and her roommate did go ahead and file a police report, but they do not expect to see their money again. Tatum? Lex, the application process, it seemed to be pretty thorough and legitimate. How could this have been caught any sooner? Well, I spoke with Keller Williams, uh, Keller Williams Realty Group, and they say that you can reach out to a property management group or a realtor, and they'll look into that listing to make sure it is legit. Live in Tulsa, Lex Rodriguez, Oklahoma's own News on 6.